it's Saturday morning. I have just grabbed some camera gear from the studio. I'm gonna head out towards Hackney Wick for an event today called Uppers and Downers. You wanna know what Uppers and Downers is? You wanna know? <laughs> Tell me what Uppers and Downers. Tell me what Uppers and Downers is all about. Uppers and Downers started about five years ago. Me and my friend Michael talking about coffee beers and you know about the trend and they're getting attention and a sort of a sense of like could they be more? Could they be more than just heavy stouts and porters and things that were just like that? Because that's most of why I hate coffee beers. Fair. And I should point out that still generally I'm not a fan of coffee beers. What the event has kind of morphed into over the years, and so we kind of got coffee and beer people together. But what it's morphed into now is more about just getting just that, getting coffee and beer people together, the brewers, the, the the industry, and the communities around them, and looking at kind of the value share that happens in that in that kind of uh, joining. As an attendee, I think it's just lots of delicious things in two, in two kind of like categories that they like. I get to taste some of the best roasters and some of the best brewers in one in one space. That's the general appeal. That their coffee beers isn't actually, I think, the real crux of what, what's appealing to them. Coffee beer tends to mean novelty, and what's often the case for Uppers and Downers is their beers that are made special for the event you can't get anywhere else. Right. And I think in, that's one of the interesting things for me in, in, in the beer world, that seems to be a thing that comes up now and again. So people will say, oh my god, that's available? That recipe? Oh, I have to taste that. Right. I don't feel like that happens in coffee not so much. No, because too many people make coffee, one person makes beer. Yeah. So. Um, this is the second one in London. How many have you done in Chicago now? Four. Four? Yeah, I mean, the big festivals. This, this is the first proper big one here in, in London. The last one was kind of uh, dipping our toes in the water, seeing if there was a demand for it. How many different? There's like 14? Mm, is that yeah. right? 14 different coffee Maybe more, actually. I think some of the guys are doing two. I don't know if I could drink that much. I've never, ever drank everything at one of them. Okay. Ever. And I, the people who do, and you'll see them at the end. <laughs> and uh, last question, the single favorite beer you've tasted at any one of these events? Oh, this is where my recall is so rubbish. I mean, I actually really enjoyed this Berliner Weiss from Boundary and uh, Rosa Brown, but um, it's, uh, it tends to be, I'll just say this, it tends to be the ones that are much lighter, much yeah. more kind of fresher, zestier, uh, more li lively than the, the, the unctuous, decadent, kind of like, yeah. you know, big. Big seems to be such a, and I think there's parallels of coffee here too, but like there is a fetishism of a big in beer right. that I think is starting to turn the other way and you're seeing more and more appreciation for restraint and balance and lightness. I feel, I feel like finally booze is trending, like like alcohol levels are trending down in a way that I'm very into. Yeah, I can tell you something that's sort of new is that we are probably going to make this more a bunch more uh, pointedly about coffee and beer, less about coffee beer. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I think it's going to give it a broader appeal, and it also it's actually been that for a while. Yeah. But we've, and as I even talked to you there about saying how that was the carrot, but this is what it is. We're now going to be like, okay, well, let's just call what it is. Yeah. A bunch of the ideas I wanted to do for collaborations didn't involve putting coffee in the beer, but they were a neat collaboration between a roaster and a brewer. So that would be amazing. I'd love to do something like that. I think there's so many different things that could be done where yeah. you take a little bit of learning and then you know apply it across to a different industry or take one idea and send it across.